Okay guys, so it is official. Apple is now on a weekly release schedule for iOS 16. Today, a week later after beta 5, Apple released iOS 16 developer beta 6. And again, now we're on a weekly release schedule, which means Apple could soon be releasing iOS 16 to the general public. We'll talk about expected release dates. And of course, in this video, I also want to go over some of the latest new features and changes within the latest beta. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now aside from ios 16 developer beta 6 released today as you can see right there apple has also updated ipad os so ipad os 16 developer beta 6 is available for the ipad as of right now for developers now interestingly enough apple has yet to release the next beta for mac os 13 is still sitting in beta 5 so no updates for that just yet now watch os 9 beta 6 of course is available for the apple watch and a tv os 16 developer beta 6 is now available for the apple tv now this update came in at approximately 400 megabytes which in my opinion is starting to get smaller and smaller as the new updates progress and this is typical right apple has now officially switched over to a weekly release schedule so we can expect another beta every week until apple releases ios 16 officially to the public and the size of the downloads will continue to get smaller because less features get added and more bugs fixes get implemented within the software now this one if we go into the generals categories and take a look at the latest bill number for this one so let's head on over here and let's take a look at the latest bill number there it is as you can see it is 20A5349 B. Now, the letter B towards the end of the bill number signifies that we're getting close to an official release. Now, there's still a few betas in the pipeline, and I'm expecting at least two more betas, a release candidate, and then the official release. But let's get to some of the latest new features and changes within the software. Now, by the way, public beta testers expect the next public beta within the next 24 hours. Now, one thing that I did want to mention is that the battery percentage displayed on the status bar, this feature did not come for the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 10R or the iPhone 12 mini and 13 mini and that continues to be the same with this latest beta as well so if you have iPhone 11 10R 12 mini or 13 mini this feature has not been added as of yet I'm hoping this is a bug and Apple will be bringing this feature to those devices as well it just makes sense so as of right now it is not implemented within this beta now let's take a look at some of the latest new changes within the lock screen and the first thing I've noticed and I do have multiple devices this one is running a previous beta and we'll use this one for comparison so right here when we go to customize here or excuse me let's go to cancel and we go to add a new wallpaper this category up top here is missing one option and that is the option for people this option is no longer visible we now have the photos photo shuffle we also have emojis weather astronomy and colors the option for people is not visible here on the latest beta so something that's minor but did change within the wallpapers categories in iOS 16 and now let's go ahead and take a look here at some different behaviors within the wallpapers so let's go into the wallpapers categories and if we go into customize here and now brings us directly to customize the home screen wallpaper instead of asking us if we want to add a new wallpaper same thing happens here for the lock screen so let me give you a quick example here this is a previous beta as I mentioned if we go into settings here we go to wallpapers and we go to customize we get a question customize the current wallpaper or add a new wallpaper or cancel this no longer happens here within the latest beta it brings us directly to customize the wallpaper for the home screen and or the lock screen you can now add the wallpaper directly with this option here which is also available on previous beta but yeah different behaviors when it comes to customizing your wallpapers i think this is a good move because wallpapers on ios 16 are sort of complicated in a way because we now have you know a lot of different elements for the lock screen which brings me to the next topic something interesting that happened on my device when i first updated to ios 16 developer beta 6 and this is a screen recording because it's already gone so take a look at this i have collections of wallpapers and when i tap on this fully dark or black wallpaper it just opens and closes on its own as you can see right there the other wallpapers i'm closing by clicking but this one launches and closes on its own and i never seen a full blacked out wallpaper under collections 
in the latest iOS 16. So could this be the always on display full on black wallpaper that could be coming for the next generation of iPhone? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Again, this is a screen recording and now it's no longer visible. It appeared on my collections wallpaper, but it disappeared after rebooting. So if I go back here onto the customizing and adding the wallpaper, it's no longer there for some reason, but it was there when I initially updated, which was kind of interesting to see a full blacked out wallpaper, which could hint at the always on display that we've been talking about coming to the iPhone 14 later this fall. Now, when can we expect iOS 16 to be officially released to the public? Well, Apple has now switched to a weekly release schedule as we already talked about. So the next beta will most likely happen next week on the week of the 22nd. Then we'll probably have a week in between where we don't see anything. And I'm expecting a release of iOS 16 sometime towards mid-September. I would like to say the week of the 12th, anytime during that time frame. We could see this software officially released to the public. I'm expecting two more betas, maybe the release candidate on top of that, and then the official release. So we still have some time. Apple continues to work on the software, obviously. And I'll continue updating you guys in terms of new features and changes within iOS 16 and beyond. Now, of course, make sure to subscribe because my follow-up video is right around the corner. I'll continue digging around the software, continue to find additional new features and changes to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Are you interested in updating to iOS 16? now that things are getting close to the end and we now have a better idea of what the software is going to look like let me know in those comments down below guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace